when did the problem start and how would you describe what happened to you at, at DHL? It, the barrier and the brake wasn't on st at the same time. So was not the same time. For, so for the first few years they were fine and flexible. Yeah, and, let's work the superface as many days. It was good. So he changed the schedule. How did he change the schedule? The saying is if you would come in at 6 okay. for your shift, you eight. couldn't pray until 8. Until 8, yeah. That's what he says, yeah. So you were not asking for an extra break. You were just yeah. asking for it to be yeah. 35 yeah. minutes earlier. Yeah. They tried to make accommodations from their side. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's, it's about being reasonable. And, right. you know, they tried to make some concessions and some accommodations and, uh, mm -hmm. for the company not to at least enter into negotiations to try to right. work out a plan. It's mm -hmm. a, what we feel is a clear violation of Title VII and the Civil Rights. When were you were you fired? On the night. Mm -hmm. You yeah, were fired? Yeah, yeah. Right. well, we, we pray. He said you can, nobody can go pray, so 725, all of us, we got to pray. And it was time for us to pray, so we all had to go and do what we had to do. CARE reached out to DHL right. on behalf of the workers. Right. Was there any response? The, yeah, basically the response was uh, they said that uh, the employees were insubordinate, and that was the reason why they uh, fired them. When, when we finished the break, then he said, let's go to the whole group of you, he said, yeah. come, come to the office. Come, come to the office. I was thinking that he going to bring a HR or somebody discuss with us, mm -hmm. and he called the police. We didn't do nothing. Why, why did he call the police? Nothing, I didn't. nothing in writing. You were just told verbally your employment had been terminated. Yeah. yeah even no no formal writer. warning. No. no written warning. No, no written warning. For five years, six years, they can't find a written warning. Mm -hmm. It's a good job. I, I, I would like, but if it comes the religion, religion so goes first. I, the complaints are saying, uh, you know, they were, they asked for a religious accommodation, and you know, we know that you know this country is founded on freedom of religion and the uh, civil rights that uh, you know requires employees to make a reasonable accommodation, you know, when there is a religious request. And here, uh, the employees were forced to choose between exercising their civil rights or remaining on the job in violation of their civil rights. We asked to you know, have their, allow them to get their jobs back and to uh, reinstitute the flexible break you know, mm -hmm. for the accommodation and they pretty much denied. denied was request. any of that in writing or was that verbal? Yes, that was in writing. Okay. Right. I'm sorry, do you, do you hear that sound? Does that mean you need to pray? Yeah. Want to know what everyone's talking about? 